What's up guys and today we got the Easter Thomas Rawls 96 overall with the chemistry boost bad already and uh, bruising back chemistry 5'9 93 speed 90 agility 94 ball carry 91 juke 95 truck 93 carry 92 excel 84 elusiveness does also have a 91 juke and a uh, 90 spin and a, and a uh, 90 stiff arm sorry and his uh, 73 catch is not that high but you know had zero drop passes uh, for me at least now this right here was kind of surprising in a way here's what I mean he's got good speed of course and he had so many breakaway runs I mean I'm gonna show you every breakaway breakaway run that he had but what's surprising about this is because whenever I run with you know short running backs even if they have good speed a lot of times they get caught from behind because in my opinion I think it's because of the short strides and for whatever reason that just did not happen with Rawls I mean he, he had like what like six or seven breakaway runs I mean, come on look at this look at that I, I that surprised the hell out of me that he was able to, to uh, dodge all those uh, defensive players and this right here I think was the best one of all of them in terms of you know his acceleration and everything I mean look how many running backs can pull that off man I mean that was just crazy so from what I could tell he's fast and everything and compared to other short running backs will not get caught that often when it came to breaking tackles, he was okay at it, but definitely not like one of the best at all. He had his moments, but that was about it. And of course, trucking is the best attribute, and that's what you know, what move I had the most success with. As far as stiff arming and juking, for what I'm very surprised. I mean, juking yes, because he did, he's not very um, agile. I mean, 90 agility, but that elusiveness is very low at 84. But still, with the stiff arm, with 91 stiff arm, you would think you know that he would get some decent animations. I don't think I even got one drag. Every time I tried to stiff arm, he would just get tackled normally. So he had like one, like a one or two good spins, but that was about it. As far as the bad plays and the struggle points, like I said, don't try to juke with them and don't stiff arm too often. For whatever reason, I could not get this two going. This was beyond surprising, though. He took like eight hit sticks. He fumbled three times. That is ridiculous. That's a terrible percentage in my mind. And for whatever reason, they were all in clutch moments, like the worst possible times to be fumbling. So, with 92 carry, I did not expect that. And it's stuff like this that will scare me away from a card. And of course, running up the middle was a great idea too. He, even though he did not break too many tackles, he did fall forward when he did get tackled. Like this right here, I saw that quite a few times. So that was like one positive thing about him. And like I showed you in the beginning of the video, man, he can definitely hit the outside and take off. So if I had to choose between running with the middle or bouncing to the outside with Rawls, I would say the best bet is to run outside. So that's going to wrap this up, guys. And he goes for about 50 and 60,000. Not too bad, if, you know, especially if you're on a budget. If he fits your scheme, man, I say go for it. And of course, get those chemistries up or chemistry, I, I should say. That one chemistry up will be even better. But just watch out for those fumbles, man. Uh, cover the ball if you're feeling paranoid about it. And as far as my next review, it's going to be the defensive tackle Joseph, the uh, corner Eli Apple, uh, the combined tight end Vernon Davis, the Nick Perry season star, and so many others, man. I'm, and um, the uh, new uh, Eric Weddle. So many cards. I picked up so many cards. I'll do a lineup update very soon so you guys can see. But anyways, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you boys then. Peace.